I'm Dr. Sanos Fragandres. Um, I was born in Greece and then moved several years back to, to London to continue my studies. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, I, I started, uh, I began with uh, with my master thesis and then I embarked upon my PhD thesis at Burbeck. I'm currently living in Frankfurt, uh, Germany, uh, with my wife and my cat Kingu. And um, I love cooking, reading philosophy, listening to jazz music and playing basketball with friends. My PhD project deals with the relationship between innovation and inequality, and income inequality in particular. Innovation is understood as you know, the development of new knowledge, new ideas, new organizational models, products and services, and income inequality as the unequal distribution of income. Uh, what my thesis does is, is investigating how interactions among innovative firms and support organizations shape the distribution of income in contemporary societies. Originally, I was interested in conducting research on innovation paradoxes. Innovation paradoxes referred to a family of anomalous observations demonstrating that innovation does not pay off. In a sense, it doesn't deliver the desirable outcomes. Uh, to put it simply, I wanted to find out why innovation doesn't pay off. Uh, but then I realized in the middle of my PhD project that the pressing question is what happens when innovation pays off? So who gets what, how and when? from innovation. At the same time, there was uh, so certain social and political developments uh, demonstrating that uh, the more innovation intensive the economic system becomes, um, the more unequal the distribution of income tends to be. So for me, that was a pressing question. So my motivation uh, was actually to find out and explore uh, how innovation and equality are related and whether there is a causal connection between the two. My research advances our knowledge of the relation between innovation and equality in several ways. Uh, first of all, it makes a theoretical contribution to our knowledge. By being the first to review in a systematic manner three decades of research on innovation and equality, it structures our understanding of how innovation shapes the distribution of, of income, uh, whilst also identifying promising research avenues. Um, furthermore, my research uh, debunks several chronic methodological misconceptions about case study research on innovation and inequality. For instance, my thesis shows that it's possible to generalize and develop causal knowledge from a single case study analysis. Uh, in addition to that, uh, my thesis identifies uh, several causal mechanisms through which innovation, and uh, innovation leads to inequality. Uh, we currently know about two causal mechanisms, but my research shows that there is even farther a causal mechanism, there is five more causal mechanisms through which innovation shapes the distribution of income. In this regard, I would say that my research makes a significant contribution to our knowledge of how innovation leads to inequality in contemporary societies. My research benefits both innovation scholars and policymakers. On the one hand, it addresses a major challenge for the field of innovation studies, namely, why has income inequality risen during one of the most innovative periods in the history of the economic system? Um, at the same time, it benefits policymakers. It develops policy relevant knowledge and has interesting policy implications. One of the key policy implications that emanates from my research is that rising inequality is not necessarily an unavoidable negative externality of an increasing globalizing economic system. On the contrary, it shows that rising inequality, it's always related to strategic choices, especially of focal actors involved in the innovation process. Therefore, innovation policies can make a difference in this regard. My PhD has ex been extremely beneficial for my uh, career. So far, um, as a part-time PhD student, I was able to work as a freelancer and innovation consultant in particular for various firms, small firms, both in the UK and my home country, Greece. Um, 
on the one hand, this experience benefited me financially, but on the other hand, actually, it, it, it helped me to assess uh, prominent theories, innovation theories in particular, and identify their strengths and, and weaknesses in practice. Um, more recently, I was uh, involved um, in, a, in a project, uh, in a policy project for the OECD and the European Commission. Particularly, I was asked to write a, a background paper on innovation paradoxes. This paper drew uh, from my early experiences, PhD experiences on innovation paradoxes. I'm also employed currently at the Goethe University of Frankfurt. I'm a, I'm a lecturer in innovation, entrepreneurship and research methods. And thanks to my PhD at Birkbeck um, and the outstanding recognition that the University of London uh, has, um, as well as the extensive training, methodological training and research uh, that I acquired through my uh, PhD years at Birkbeck, I, was, I felt very confident to pursue an academic career in a, out, in a global, in a global uh, world-class um, world edu education system outside the UK. So to be honest, if I was about to redo my PhD, I would have chosen Birkbeck again. Yeah.